How did spices like nutmeg end up going from medicine to favorite wintertime holiday spice? Before modern medicine, spices were much more than cooking ingredients. They were life-saving medicines, and because of that, spices were extremely valuable, sometimes worth more than their weight in gold. Nutmeg was considered a preventative for bubonic plague, a disease far, far more deadly than COVID-19. Of course, modern medicine is far more effective, but spices and their chemical compounds do actually impact the body. Willow bark has acetic acid, similar to aspirin. Nutmeg has a compound in it, meristocin, that folk medicine used for pain relief and also happens to be a hallucinogenic. Tracing back the history of nutmeg and the desire for its medicinal promises is a dark tale. First to secrecy, and then wars, mass murders, and foolish trades. Historically, nutmeg has been traded since antiquity, with Arab traders keeping the source secret until about 700 years ago. About the time that Christopher Columbus was seeking out spices in the New World, the Portuguese explorer Antonio de Abreu learned the location of the Banda Islands, the world's only source of nutmeg at the time. Skip forward 100 years, and in 1621, the Dutch East India Company, one of the most powerful companies that ever existed, invaded the Banda Islands in Indonesia, committing genocide and killing over 90% of the population in order to gain a monopoly over nutmeg trade from the Arabs. In another twist of history, the Dutch ended up trading away their claim to Manhattan, New York City, in 1667. They wanted that last part of the Banda Islands that the English were controlling, all just to get a lock on nutmeg. The next chapter of nutmeg's journey involves smugglers. You might wonder why enterprising folks didn't just plant the nutmeg seeds they could buy. I mean, given nutmeg was worth more than gold at the time, imagine if you could plant a gold coin and get a gold tree to grow. But the Dutch sterilized all the seeds, leaving the Banda Islands, boiling them, or coating them in lime. Nutmeg turned into a global crop when finally, around 1770, a daring smuggler, a French botanist, named Pierre Pauv, was tipped off to the location of a small, uninhabited island that had the nutmeg growing. Globalization took nutmeg from being a rare, exotic medicinal spice controlled by a monopoly to something much more easily had with many producers. And with nutmeg and many other spices becoming more common, we started using them as spices in cooking. The Brits added it to eggnog. The Dutch used nutmeg in their speculoos cookies. In Asia, it's used much more in savory dishes like Indonesian rendang. The Middle East uses it in its spiced meatballs, kofta. And of course, in the US, it's pumpkin pie, apple cider, and for me, Nutmeg is the defining scent of eggnog that makes me think of the holidays.